Okay, we're starting section 2-2, two, two, and we're exploring properties of parabolas. And the first thing I need you guys to do is to pause this video and to copy down this information on vertex form. There are three different forms we're going to learn, so there'll be three different videos. So pause the video now and copy vertex form. You're going to want to write down some notes for yourself. So we've been exploring this version already, but it's really important to know that H and K are the, is the vertex. The axis of symmetry, which I'm going to write as AOS, is X equals H. And then the maximum or the minimum of this parabola is always going to be K. So this is monitoring progress. Um, we're going to do number two together. It's on page 57 in your book, so you can also follow along. Page 57. We're going to do number two, and then when we're done, you guys are going to pause the video and you guys are going to do number one on your own. Okay, so the first thing here to make it easy is this is obviously, you can see this is in vertex form. I hope you can recognize that. So what starts here is by telling me what A is, what H is, and what's K. So that's the easiest thing. So A is two, H, which is here, is two, not negative two, and K is five. So right away, by looking at your notes, you can figure out what is the vertex. So the vertex for this is going to be 2, 5. So H and K. All right, that means we can figure out our axis of symmetry already. And again, looking at your notes, oh, axis of symmetry is always written as an equation. It's X equals 2. Good. And then we have to figure out if this is a maximum or a minimum. I'm going to give you a little clue. If A is positive, it goes up. So let's try it over here. If A is positive, it goes up, which means this is going to be a minimum. If A is negative, it's going to go down, sad face parabola, and that's going to be a maximum. And what I mean by that is that it has a low point here, and maximum means there is a maximum or a high point here. So knowing that A is positive, that means that my, um, it's going to be a maximum, sorry, I'm going to take that back, minimum, because A is positive, and the minimum is going to be at, which is right here, 5. Okay, so now let's graph it. Now that we know the vertex, we know where to start. So I'll do my t-chart, x, and this is going to be uh, g of x which is just your whole equation here, two times x minus two squared plus five. We're gonna do some mental math here, so make sure you just check me. Let's do the vertex first. We already know the vertex is at two and five. So now we're gonna pick two points above it and two points below it. So one and zero, three and four. Okay, and that's a five. I know it doesn't look good. All right. So let's start with 1. We're going to plug in 1 here. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 plus 5 is 7. Okay, so this is the vertex, which means you know that it's going to look like a U, so it should be mirrored on both sides of the vertex. So let's plug in 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 plus 5 is 7. Good. Now let's do 0. If I plug in 0 here, it makes negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. And for 4, same thing. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 5 is 13. Okay, so now we can graph this. I'm going to put my vertex in first. Always start with your vertex. 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to be 1, 7, which is going to go up here. And then it's going to be 3, 7, which is up here. And then 0 and 13, which is way up here. So if you see at my sketch here, it's kind of a very thin parabola here. And we can look at our axis of symmetry, which I'm going to draw in blue, if I can get it to work. 
it goes down this way. I'm always draw it as a dotted line, and it's a, it is a line, so that's why we have it as an equation, x equals 2. And if you look at this minimum point, the lowest point on this graph is here at 5.